Good day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Dwayne Matz. Welcome to another Primetime Devo. We're continuing to go through the book of 1 Timothy, verse by verse. We're in chapter 3 at verse 2. And we've been talking about the qualifications of a bishop or a pastor. And the one that we're talking about is the, uh, the necessity of being the husband of one wife. Now, this is... Uh, not just about polygamy. It's about sexual purity and faithfulness and adultery. And today we want to talk about one of the big problems that we, we see in the church today and certainly in the world, and that is the matter of pornography. And how does that relate to husband of one wife or adultery? So uh, we read in 1 Timothy 3, 2, a bishop, a pastor then must be blameless the husband of one wife. And again, we've been addressing this matter of adultery and those who would seek to serve as pastors because a line has been drawn in the sand and those who have converted to Christianity and therefore have left the culture of sexual promiscuity that we find in the world, they must leave that lifestyle behind. No more adultery, or unchaste sexual behavior for followers of Christ. No more. The one who would serve as pastor must not give cause to anyone to charge them with improper sexual behavior. And in our culture today, this is where pornography also becomes an issue. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 28, But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So purposeful and persistent viewing of pornography is adultery. And according to most statistics, it's a huge problem in the church today, even among pastors. And so to the pastor, I ask, if someone were to look at your history of viewing on the internet, what would they see? If someone were to examine all the items that you have discarded in trash barrels, what would they see? Would there be evidence that someone could use to blackmail you? Would you be found blameless in the matter of sexual promiscuity or not? If such evidence exists, you have a problem, and you need to deal with it. Now, there is plenty of help out there for those who struggle with pornography. Seek it. Find it. Use it. Commit to it. Above all, fight it. Don't give in to it. The first step is to admit your problem, and the second step is to admit it to your church board Admit it to those who have called you to serve their flock. They need to know. Then you and the board and the congregation need to prayerfully consider a course of action with the ultimate goal of restoring to the line that has been drawn in the sand. That line that says, no more adultery or unchaste sexual behavior for followers of Christ. I know it's not easy to admit moral failure, especially in a position of leadership. But take heart from this verse in James 5.16, which says, Confess your trespasses to one another, and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Well, that's all the time we have for today. God bless you. Thank you much for listening. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.